Hi, Shane here. You're watching Sam for God. This is Mark. Check her out. Hi, Shane here. You're watching Sam for God. And this is Mark. Check her out. <laughs> so, hi, guys. Um, I'm currently at Wicked, uh, at the Apollo Victoria Theatre in London. We're about to watch Wicked, the matinee. It's the 3,000 performance of the Yeah. And it's my friend Joe. You can't really see him because it's quite dark. But, um, yeah, I'm very excited. It's um, the last day of the current cast, so that should be quite emotional. You're sad. <laughs> <laughs> Tears. Yeah, it's Gina Beck and Louise Demon are leaving, and uh, as well as a, a few other people, so it should be quite fun. Can't get in <laughs> you can't get his jacket off, but yeah. Um, I'll update you throughout the day because uh, I just thought I'd just kind of film this day because it's quite a special day. Okay, so this is the end of uh, the matinee show of Wicked. Here's Mary. Hello. She's got balloons, and I've got balloons as well. It's a 3,000 performance, so that's why everybody's got balloons here, as you can see. Um, it was an amazing show, and I'll talk about it later, but it was absolutely hilarious. The mock-up matinees, all the mock-ups were hilarious. And, and um, yeah, this is just everybody got balloons, and that's the stage. Hi, guys. Hi, guys. I can't think. Hi, guys. <laughs> Beth is making fun of me. At the moment we're in Wagga That's what she said. At the moment, point. at the moment we're in Wagamams. Slash slash Wagamamas. Um, or Wags. <laughs> anyway, we just had dinner slash lunch. And we had dinner now and um, we're about to go back to the wicked to what are we going to wicked for? For the evening show. See the show. Yes. <laughs> and um, uh, <laughs> Joe's a bit too happy. But yeah, the muck up the muck up was rather brilliant, wasn't it? Is this for all the brilliant <laughs> Beth is just making fun hey. of me. I can't film. But yeah, it was rather brilliant. And um, yeah, the mic. Who says rather brilliant? Let me cow cow. Toast and maze. Toast and maze. It was toast and maze. <laughs> she can't do it. She can't do an Essex accent. Toast and maze. Was that good? <laughs> was that good? No. Toast and maze. Toast and maze. <laughs> Totes. No. Totes. No. Totes. Is that anyway. Say well, I'm well gel. <laughs> that wasn't that wasn't right. Anyway, guys, we're going back to um Wicked now to see the evening show of um, see Wicked. To see Wicked, the evening show. The look, the look at was actually amazing, wasn't it? Totes and Mary. It was totes and Mary, according to Beth. There's Mary over there. And there's Becca. Hey. And then there's Molly. Hey. <laughs> and um, yeah, excited. The Muppet Matinee actually was really good. Introduced oh yeah, well there's Joe, but you already know him. I introduced him beforehand, didn't I? Yeah. And yeah, so yeah, we're going to film an interview, I think. No, I'm not. <laughs> okay guys, um, so it's the interview at Wicked. <laughs> it's really weird. Vlogging um, in the theatre I've never done before, but um, there's, there's Joe and Molly. Um, how did you like it so far? Act one. Was it good? It. Yeah, who, what was your favourite part? Um, Louise's The Fine Girls. The Fine Girls, you heard The Fine Girls a bit. How about you? Huh? What was your favourite part? Uh, none of it. It was absolute shit. Like, <laughs> never. Delighted. Never see this. Ever. Obviously, she's joking, but yeah. Um, yeah, it's, it's been really great so far. It's, um, it's been a weird cast change because I've been to many cast changes before, but tonight's been a bit weird because I guess I'm not really that connected to this cast. I don't know, I've seen it a few times with this cast, but yeah, Joe's just like there looking hey. and making sure that I'm like filming properly. Yay! But um, yeah, it should be, should be really, really good. And this is obviously the foyer area of Wicked in London, which I've never filmed before, so I thought people might want to see. You're in the vlog now. Okay. Say right. something interesting. Um, interesting is it paid good money to sit in this seat watch a show and I'm watching it but I can't hear it because people are cheering standing up the exactly mid song, mid -song. <laughs> do you agree with us Mary I is don't it... know. <laughs> people couldn't even sing their last line of like that line because people were cheering that much for other people coming on stage and right nine months ago today right today's the 16th of November nine months ago today was the 16th of February do you know where I was 16th of February where were you I was at the oh my change. god, we were there together. Oh, as if it's been six months. I didn't even know. So it's actually months. been six months. Nine months. Oh, okay, nine months. Nine but yeah, months. 16th. Well, it was actually Saturday the 16th as well. Oh yeah, Saturday the 16th. That was such an amazing yeah. cast change. Considering, show. yeah, yeah, it's just yeah. A, this is very different to. This new generation of wicked fans, and was I honestly like that when I was like. No, I don't think any of us were like this. Some wicked fans can be a bit crazy, but what can you do with an iPod? So it's uh, after the show now, and. Um, it was really good, it was amazing. I actually cried and I didn't expect to cry. How did you feel about the show? Indifferent. <laughs> How did you feel about the show? Okay. You? Good. I loved it. Aww. <laughs> so, I, 
I think I enjoyed it more than I thought it was because like this one I was just like why am I going I can't bother going but then I did enjoy it in the end yeah except for people spoiling it which is just I know me. people were screaming a lot was a bit annoying but yeah. you go. oh you're going okay bye really bye really tired aww sorry <laughs> So, I am back home in my room now, as you can probably tell. Um, Wicked was great today, both shows were amazing. Um, I don't know, it was just really weird. Um, it didn't really feel like a cast change the last show until the very last minute doing Curtain Call. I was like, wow, this is actually the last time I'm seeing some of these people on stage in Wicked. And then I started crying, which is very unexpected. But yeah, um, especially like Gina Beck, because um, I've been a fan of her for quite a long time, quite a few years now, um, since she was in Phantom of the Opera. Um, and um, I don't know, I've, I've really enjoyed watching her as Glinda as well and I don't know, it just hit me all of a sudden, I was like, wow, I'm going to miss seeing her as Glinda and because I remember exactly the first day, the first time I saw her as Glinda, which was on her first night and I was like, wow, time has really just gone by quickly and I can't believe that it's already time for her to leave and, you know, because she started in Wicked in 2011 end of 2011 and now we're at the end of 2013 so um you know it's been two years and yeah it was a bit emotional and i think everybody quite a few people on stage were crying and stuff but that always happens um at wicked cast changes and yeah i do want to mention the matinee the makeup matinee because that was hilarious i wasn't even going to go to the makeup matinee because in general i'm not really a fan of seeing the same show twice in one day i just I feel like it kind of ruins it for me if I see the same show twice because then it doesn't feel as special when you see the last, the evening show. And this was only my third time seeing Wicked twice in one day. The first time I did this was when Diane Thurkington left Wicked in 2010 and that was my first ever experience of a mock-up matinee. Then for Nikki Davis Jones's um, last two shows in Wicked London, um, which was last year in 2012 sometime in October, I went to both of her last shows. It was a Wednesday so I went to the matinee and the evening that show for her last two shows. And then tonight, of course, I went to both uh, shows again. And now looking back, I'm really glad I did because um, this was only my second experience of a mock-up matinee. Like I said, I'd been to the one that Diane did in 2010, but since then I just kind of avoided going to the matinee because I just felt like it would be too much to see the show, the same show twice. But today, um, it was definitely worth it. And um, Gina Beck, I mean, she was the reason that I wanted to go to the mock-up matinee because I thought she was gonna be hilarious and she definitely was, she completely made it worth uh, me being there and um, the whole show was great and it just reminded me of how much I love mock-up matinees because Wicked always does some of the best mock-ups and uh, for the mock-up matinee and for anybody who doesn't know what a mock-up matinee is um, it's basically the last um, matinee show which is an afternoon show of a um, cast when they're in a the show they kind of do some kind of random things they do some mock-ups uh, they do a few things wrong that kind of won't be too obvious for people who are watching the first time but people who know the show would notice it and find it funny i'm trying to remember some of the ones that there were so many today um especially from gina but um some of my favorites i think well um there was one that uh, basically in act two where gina slash glinda goes um i'm so bad at giving directions um gina today this afternoon instead she said i should have given them a sat nav <laughs> which was hilarious. It was so unexpected as well because in the second act, in, none of the cast did any like proper mock-ups and I think that was probably the main one in the second act and I was like, whoa, it just made me laugh a lot. Um, and yeah, in act one there was so many, I can't even mention them all, but probably one of my favourites would have to be when um, Glinda says, um, it seems that the artichoke is steamed. Uh, Gina instead said, it seems that the broccoli is boiled. <laughs> That was hilarious. Then there was just a few random ones. Um, just, I mean, to be honest, literally, Gina's Glinda in Act 1 especially, every moment pretty much was a muck-up matinee. She was hilarious. I can't... I feel like I want to name them all, but it's going to take ages. I'm, and I'm sure some other Wicked fans would have, have like a list somewhere um, online that you can go and check. I might actually do a list and put it in the description thing if anybody cares to know which ones and what they did and stuff. But, oh yeah, Ben as well. Ben Freeman, who plays Fiero. He did quite a few funny muck which I don't think were expected from him, but he just... Uh, he did them and everybody in the audience was laughing. Um, one of my favourites was when um, the scene just before I'm Not That Girl, um, obviously like Fierro leaves and then um, um, Alphaba, sorry, goes, um, oh Fierro, before she sings I'm Not That Girl. And when um, Louise Lehman, who plays Alphaba, did this today in the afternoon show in the muck-up matinee, Ben Freeman came back on stage suddenly and he was like, what? Like he actually replied to um, Alphaba and for a second Louise was like, didn't know what to do, but then Ben went off stage again. So but that was just funny, really, really funny and completely unexpected. Then in um, Dancing Through Life, um, there's that bit where um, 
Fiero goes, you're good to Glinda after Glinda's um, convinced Rock to go and ask Nessa to dance. Um, and today Ben said, you're hot instead of you're good. And that was hilarious. That was completely legendary. And yeah, in general, I just everything was great. Um, for me, like I said, Gina definitely stole the matinee show with all her hilarious original mock-ups. Um, there were too many to mention. I really can't mention them all, unfortunately. But her popular, oh my god, her popular was incredible i've always loved a popular anyway it's one of my favorite populars ever i think it's just so funny every time and so detailed um but today at the matinee it was just overly funny i my i was like i was just like this throughout the whole um song just like <sighs> i could not stop laughing um and yeah louise was great as well um i think louise only really did one thing i think as far as i remember and that was in um the dancing through life where she does that dance that gina then has to copy glinda um and yeah she was good i mean there were loads like i said i don't want to say that, that these were the only ones that were um that happened there were loads from everybody really even some of the ensemble members but these are the ones that i kind of remember off the top of my head and yeah i just want to say it was a great show both shows were great the reason i said before that i felt a bit weird about this cast change was because i've only seen this cast uh, maybe about seven or eight times and I know that that sounds a lot to most normal people but considering I used to see the Wicked a lot like before this like the cast before this I probably saw about 40 times or something um, and so I just didn't feel as attached to this cast but I still did like them all I mean as I said before Gina's one of my absolute favourite Glinda's um, she is just spot on everything about her portrayal of Glinda I absolutely love her as Glinda and Louise as well she really has grown on me um, in fact I think she's probably one of my in my top three alphabets now I just think she's a very real sincere alphabet and um, Ben Freeman <laughs> I really like him. I think he's a brilliant Fiero. And um, yeah, I am going to miss seeing him on stage in that role. I've got a programme tonight, which I, for some reason, didn't even have of this cast. I've had programmes of all the other casts of Wicked that I've seen, but I didn't have one of um, this cast. And I thought, might as well get one. So I want to show you the pe people that I've been talking about in case you want, you're wondering who they are and you haven't seen them. This is the programme. Oh, God, this is my iPod. This is the Wicked programme. And um, yeah. Just want to show you very, very quickly. Uh, this is Louise Damon. Uh, she's, she plays Alphaba. She's actually the first ever person in the whole world, and probably the only person in the whole world, who's played both Glinda and Alphaba. And her Glinda is actually one of my favourite Glindas as well. But um, yeah, she's absolutely brilliant at Alphaba, and it was a, she did a great last two shows. And obviously, this is um, Gina Beck, who plays Glinda, and this is um, the outfit that I like her in the most because all the funny scenes, or the main funny scenes, I think, uh, that she, I love her in the most are this. She's, she wears, she's wearing this outfit. That didn't make sense at all. Um, anyway, this is Ben Freeman. That's Louise Demon, and that's Ben again. And, ha, huh, look, Billy Elliot advert. Um, and, uh, yeah, that's just a cast. I was just going to go quickly through this because, oh, yeah, okay. This scene is the catfight scene with Gina and Louise. And, um, <laughs> I feel so weird just kind of taking you through a programme. Uh, yeah, that's Louise Demon, and that's Gina Beck. And, uh, it's just really weird seeing this and all the cast that left and obviously Harriet Thorpe as well um I remember her seeing her with like um when Diane was in the cast uh back in 2009-2010 and obviously she came back to do Morrible for a few months here and she's actually brilliant and then that's Keith um who plays the wizard uh he's great he's absolutely brilliant um wow okay and then there's Nessa Katie Rolly Jones she's staying though so that's all right and then there's Bok Sam Lepton. and then there's um another picture of Linda and uh, Alphaba slash Louise and Gina, Gina Beck, they're both brilliant. And there's Bok, uh, Sam Loves, and he's staying as well. Um, he's pretty good. Um, and so yeah, that's um, pretty much the end of this vlog. Um, I'm sorry if it was really long. I didn't want it to be long, but I kind of wanted to end it somehow, so I thought I'd kind of talk about it a bit um, more and a bit more in detail than um, when I did when I was outside with my friends because obviously when you're with your friends and we're outside it's a bit more difficult to vlog properly. I also want to say thank you to um, Dan who is a viewer of mine who came up to me in the interval when I was at Wicked for in the evening show and said hi and stuff and now you know he com he's commented on some of my videos before and I've seen his comments and it was really great to kind of put his face to a name and meet him properly and yeah it was really really lovely I always love it when things like this happen and so yeah thanks Dan uh, for saying hi I hope you enjoyed the show as much as I did. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I've never really vlogged from this angle before. I hope it's not too bizarre, seeing pretty much most of my room behind me. I've just noticed something really, really awkward, which is that, that picture of myself. I'm sorry, that's not because I'm vain. I didn't put it up there. The story is quite long, but I was away for a while, and when I came back, my dad had put it up there for some reason, and I just haven't had the time 
uh, to, to take it down, but it's just, I don't know. I'm not a vain person, I don't like waking up to it. And yeah, I definitely need to take it down. Right, I'm gonna say goodbye to you, and as always guys, thank you so much for watching, and um, I'll see you soon. Bye.